Daylies. It's Thursday, that means it's time for Q&As. And as a reminder, um, these are for informational purposes only. So for any real medical concern, please consult your doctor. Thanks. So contrary to what a lot of people say or what you might hear, breastfeeding should not be painful. Um, some reason those first couple weeks when you're getting used to it, but um, it pain usually shows a sign that there's a bad latch or there's a couple different things that could actually be. So a couple different reasons that you could be experiencing pain during breastfeeding could be um, a clogged duct is one. Um, it could be a yeast infection. Um, it could also be that your baby is tongue tied. Um, and then another one which is most common is a poor latch. So a lot of times what this means, you might just need to readjust them a little bit. Um, so they might be um, angled in a different way where you know their gums are pulling a little bit on your breasts a little more so it causes pain. So um, try looking at adjusting the latch. You could also um, schedule an appointment with a lactation consultant um, and see if they can um, help with the latch a little bit. So I just wanna preface this with all Epsom salt packaging says if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, consult your doctor first. So first and foremost, consult your, your direct physician so they can answer this for you. Um, it's different for everyone. Some moms can have an Epsom salt, sorry I got cut off, but some moms will take Epsom salt baths and not have a problem with it um, and will wash off after so none of the residues on their breasts for when they are breastfeeding. Um, but other moms actually use Epsom salt to help with engorgement. So there are also some moms that have been told by physicians to use it after, um, after labor. So, um, this is just one that I can't ask, answer personally, so I would definitely check with your doctor. Yes, it is perfectly safe to take more than one of our supplements at the same time. You certainly don't have to, but we know we have plenty of moms that will have lactation cookie and go through or go through and fenugreek free supplement. So just kind of do what works best for you. They say typically for your first pregnancy, you start to show between 12 and 16 weeks. Um, and then for your second pregnancy, it's typically earlier than what it was for your first pregnancy. So kind of look at what your first pregnancy was and then reevaluate based on that. And of course, there's always exceptions to that study as well. So um, if you kind of did the math and you're realizing you're not showing, but you were showing already by your previous pregnancy, then definitely just talk to your doctor and make sure everything's okay. Okay, so hemorrhoids in general are very painful. So it will add an additional um, pain if you have them during labor. So there's some different ways that you can um, get ahead of that now and try to get rid of them. So there is a sitz bath. Um, you can also try witch hazel and you can try hemorrhoid cream. So that'd be like pre preparation H or something like that. Um, and then that can help get rid of them before you go into labor with your third. As I said before in videos, your breast milk composition changes multiple times um, throughout your breastfeeding journey. So you might notice your colostrum is a little more sticky, but also as it thickens up, it also can change color and add stickiness as well. All right, guys, thanks everyone for submitting your questions to Q&As for this week. That's all I have for this week. So as a reminder, they're every single Thursday. So if you were watching this and you think I have another question I want to ask, go ahead and put it here and I'll get to them next week. And if you're not following us yet, be sure to follow us at Mommy Knows Best on Instagram. And remember, if you're watching this and doubting yourself, you are a great mom. So thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next week.